I'm going to try to make this video again and then I'm going to upload it and then go to bed. I made this video earlier and when I started this video, I originally got, I originally started it and then I got cut off because of my ELD had a problem pairing with my phone and I'm on my phone recording a video. So I don't really don't, um, I was kind of loud when I made the video could be because of how close I am to my phone. Um, so what did I talk about in this video? And, and, and I, and I hope that it's even okay that I even make this video. I'm not trying to sway anybody to believe the way I'm making this video, but I just went back and I was going to upload it. And I was like, well, you know, I'll start over, make another video, same thing. Hopefully not going into a whole bunch of detail about a whole bunch of things, but um, the video was 33 minutes and 30 seconds, three, three, three. I don't know if it means anything. Um, uh, I hope people believe me, you know, I'm not against scriptures that people quote from the Bible, not the one we're saved by grace. Um, uh, not John 3, 16. I'm not against any scripture in the entire Bible. The one thing that I'm against is saying that we're perfect. I mean, that we're not going to be perfect, but then not talking about something else about that message. So what scripture, what scriptures are am I talking about in this video? The calling upon the Lord and being saved. I'm not against that scripture. I'm not against any scripture that has anything to do with salvation or even if it does not have anything to do with salvation. I'm not against any of those scriptures. The thing is, if I told somebody all they had to do was call upon the Lord and be saved, but yet I ended the message there. That's why I'm not, I'm not too fond of people that have a little card that gives you a list of things and then say that I believe you're saved because that little card thing that somebody gives someone out here does not have the whole salvation message in it. And of course, at the end of the day, it's going to be about the intent of what somebody is trying to get. If what you read that it's going to make sense and it's a seed that somebody planted and it all works and you can be saved. But I'm not against a prayer. I'm not against the sinner's prayer. If at the end of the day, that that's not all that they sit here and come to understand. I witnessed a guy that said that he believed he got saved by the sinner's prayer, but he didn't stop there. He read the Bible. He, uh, he lived from the Bible. So I can't say that you can be saved by a sinner's prayer without applying the Bible. Just like I cannot sit here and say, that you can be saved by calling upon the Lord and being saved without reading the Bible and letting the Holy Spirit change an individual. Yes, there are so many people that post those scriptures up, calling upon the Lord, believing and you can be saved. All these things, I'm not against those scriptures. I think at the end of the day that a lot of people out here think that I'm probably against what a lot of people sit here and read from the Bible. I'm just saying that if you look at the context of the entire Bible, if you could put it, sum it all up, I can't, I don't think anybody can go wrong with being a doer of the word. That's the only thing I can point out. And, uh, so if somebody gave you a card and gave you three or four scriptures from the Bible and said, you could pray this prayer and they believe you can be saved. Well, 
you can't just put that card down and not pick up the Bible because yes, I know a lot of people dislike me because of me not being a Bible reader, but I've heard enough, enough of the Bible that doesn't, that does not, that is not, I'm not making no excuses. That's not, that doesn't justify me because you get, um, God blesses you from reading the Bible. Like the, like the book of Revelation. And, um, I have probably lacked some of those blessings because I have not done what I should have done. But this video is me saying that, you know, a lot of people post these scriptures up and then go on as if somebody came by and read that, that that's all it's going to take. But I cannot go that route. I cannot, I cannot go with that. I can't go with believing in the gospel and you can be saved without reading the Bible and seeing what the Bible says and seeing if what you're reading is talking about you and people will find out it is talking about them. I'll never sit here and say that things in the Old Testament are for the people in the Old Testament or the things in the New Testament are for certain people in the New Testament. I know that you incorporate what Christ had to say in all the disciples, the people in the Old Testament, the prophets, the everybody, God, his word, Jesus, the word made flesh. You incorporate that word. And I know that it's all going to make a difference in the world. I think I've said enough about that. Again, I'm not downing one person that uses these scriptures and then goes on. But if someone were to come behind and hear that Christ took the sins away at the cross and that's all they go by and that's all that people preach out here at the end of the day, you'll think your sins have been taken away at the cross and that you have no sin issue. Well, what about I'm a sinner in need of a savior that so many people want to post up? See, if you're a sinner in need of a savior, then Christ took those sins away at the cross. That wouldn't make sense, would it? Wouldn't make no sense at all. And I mean, I don't know everything, but what matters is that you see that you're a changed individual. It's what matters. You surrender your life. You humble yourself. You repent. God does a work in you. And you'll see it. And what really hurts me is I've allowed this truck driving and the things that have bothered me to sit here and be a part of my videos. And I'm not saying it at the end of the day that people would have still liked my message if I was a Bible, you know, because a lot of people out here that talk about certain things, they don't talk about everything. They don't sit here and talk about things like I do. That's why a lot of people like their messages. If they didn't, if they were saying the things that I sit here and said, people would not like it. And they wouldn't have to say it all the time. They could say it one time and one person could watch that video and say, I'm not watching this person again. This person professes you have to repent. I believe you don't have to repent to be saved. Guess what? You're not going to like that individual. There's a lot of people out here that don't speak that stuff, but they believe that stuff. And a lot of people love their messages. 
because they don't speak this stuff all the time. If you sit here and you went through every video that person made, you may find out that they made a video that you may not like. But I know that I've allowed this stuff to affect my videos that when I sit here and listen to someone that made a video the other day, a really, really, I'm not joking, man. I mean, when I say that Michaela Cooper had an absolute great message, you really got to watch Michaela Cooper. I mean, fantastic, absolute fantastic. It may be the best person out here on all of YouTube that I've witnessed anybody make a video. I'm not joking, man. I mean... I don't care that it's a woman that made the videos. Somebody out here has already made comments about her because they don't think a woman should say anything at all. And I know that's absolutely incorrect. If people are supposed to make disciples of people, it may not be so much good for a woman to be preaching behind the pulpit or something uh, in front of a whole congregation. But if my grandmother said something to you, and you came to the understanding and you were saved by God because of what someone might like my grandmother or anyone else out here in the world, whether it was a woman or a man, I'm going to tell you this right now. What are you doing? You're bringing someone to God. You're saying something and there ain't nobody can complain, man. If somebody complains, then they got the wrong message. They got the wrong message. I'm not joking. If people watch Michaela Cooper, unbelievable message. But I mean, I've hurt my videos so bad. I've hurt my videos so bad because I'm, I mean, you just don't act like me. And, and the thing about it is uh, I would have thought that some people out here would have been able to overlook it. I really do. Especially since I keep on witnessing things from God. I know he's not happy with me because if you guys were to drive with me throughout the day and see how my life is, you'd probably be like, um, you need God. Well, yeah, I, I need somebody to hold my hand. <laughs> That's what I need. <laughs> I made a video yesterday. I said, heck, I just need some, I need to hug somebody out here. I mean, it's like I'm out here in this little world, this big old world, whatever you want to call it, all by myself. If I opened up the comment section to any of my videos, am I going to have a like or am I going to have people that talk smack? If I'm supposed to be helping someone out here, how can anybody talk smack? I know it's not going to work out the way everybody thinks it is. If I was anybody, I'd watch Michaela Cooper. I'm not joking, man. She made a video and I've witnessed so many videos that I've just had to stop. I'm like, I'm mad. I'm like, look, here's, here's another scripture. Here's something else that I, how I've ruined myself that if I wasn't this way, there's a lot of people that would have liked these, these videos, but I can't, I cannot, I cannot get off of talking about being wicked out here. I cannot, I cannot break away from it. I just cannot. Cannot break away from it. <laughs> I don't even want to talk about it. I don't, I mean, I was going to say something, but I'd probably make somebody mad out here. I can't talk about it, man. I just, I care. I care. But I know I listen to Michaela Cooper and I'm like, oh my goodness, this whole time. I mean, when I first started making videos and <laughs> how did I ever get myself in such a rut? And I know we've all got ourselves in these ruts one time or another. Well, either way. All I know is that I was not incorrect. I was correct. I know right now people need to be 
talking to God. I don't care if you're driving down the road headed to work. I mean, do like I used to do. Look at that beautiful hawk. Beautiful trees. I mean, you ought to see the beautiful trees right now. I know you all. I know you all are seeing how beautiful the trees are right now. Beautiful sky. I can't. I mean, I may not be going, thank you for the rain, God. But I mean, because, <laughs> uh, you know, I guarantee you God eats it up. I know he does. There's no way. There's no way I can sit here and say, look at that beautiful cow, that deer. It doesn't make no difference. Now, flies, that's a whole different other thing. I don't hate flies. I've been getting these bugs in my truck, and for some reason, I've had three or four of them in my truck, and I don't know what's up. I mean, wood. Oh, my goodness. And guess what? I don't kill them. That's the craziest thing is I don't kill them. <laughs> well, I already know I could just imagine what would happen if somebody, I mean, I know you can do this in your own house. I want people to witness things from God, like um, sitting here talking to God and and God knows what you like. You witness something that you see, that you like out of the blue, like you would have never thought you would have witnessed something like this. Wow. Sitting here witnessing all these things time I got that three time confirmation one of the favorite things I love to witness out here is the sun rays coming through the clouds three times three time confirmation three times exactly what I wanted to witness when I asked God exactly what I witnessed but I'm not going to say that's going to happen for everyone but I do know it can't hurt to go somewhere Peace and quiet. And even if God doesn't say something back, talk to him. I know. I mean, so, I wasn't insane that much. I wasn't. I didn't act like this when I was sitting here talking to God, driving down the road all the time. That's gone out the window. I'm being truthful here. I'm not that same person no more. I know what my issues are. I do. I do. You know how hard it is to crucify the flesh? But I know it doesn't look good for somebody to give a message and then to be like the way I am. That's the, I, again, I'm not bragging and boasting. Hey, if you can get the same message from anyone else out there, hallelujah. There are plenty of people out there in the world. But I'd go somewhere, talk to God. If you have children, you got a, you got a, a spouse. Hun, take the children. I'm going to go talk to God for about an hour and then we'll swap out. I promise you, I don't, I know it could not hurt. I mean, I was in New Mexico. I was in New Mexico that night when I asked, why are we being judged? I was outside by myself amongst the stars and I asked God, why are we being judged? Because Jonathan Kahn said in a video that we were being judged. The next day I was driving down the road and he put it in my head. And even though I've always believed in God, I do not know if I can recall and I would never lie. 
I don't think in my entire life I had ever heard the word iniquity. Driving down the road, phew, iniquity. The next night, that same night, why me? The next day, twice, watchman. So, I know that if you ask something, there's not no guarantee you're going to get what you want right then and there. I've already had God put it in on me. Patience. But that one day I went to that oil rig and I couldn't handle it so more so much because all this stuff that God was doing and I was like, please God, let it go away. That quick went away. And here we are seven plus years later thinking about this stuff every day, every day, all day day long the only time I didn't think about these things is when I was in Oklahoma City doing all these sinful things at the time and God was still doing things not as I was sinning Well, again, I don't know everything, so I ain't bragging or boasting. I promise you that. I promise you that. But I think that that's exactly what a person should do, no matter who they are. If they think they're a born-again Christian, uh, I would, I, 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 I cannot see. Here, I'll give you proof. I'll give you proof. Here's an example. We live by faith and not by sight. Okay? Nothing wrong with that scripture, is there? It's in the Bible, isn't it? You think I'm not going to want to try to get something from God? Okay. I proved my point. takes a person that's surrendered giving God their all being humble told my sister tonight haven't se I haven't talked to my sister in about two years talked to my sister tonight and I said ask God to help you with your heart. Since all these bad things come from the heart. See, I couldn't just say believe what you what you read in the Bible. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I told her what repent meant. I told her what a lot of these things meant. I mean, I really did watch a movie today. And uh, I'm going to say this, and then this is what I'm going to end the video on. I watched the movie. Um, the Andy Griffith Show. It was Andy. I well, whatever his name is in real life, uh, the Andy Griffith show, the guy that played Andy, it was in a movie and the other actor was, uh, walk the line. What's his name? It's a great movie. Murder in Cottawa County. 
was supposed to have taken place in Georgia. It's just a movie. What was the guy that sung Walk the Line? <laughs> uh, it's the Man in Black. If anybody gets a chance to watch that movie, watch that movie. Toward the end of the movie, uh, you'll have to see what this guy did wrong. You'll have to see what this guy did wrong in this movie. And I know it was wrong. There's an intention there of how you are and how you think. And you just can't bring up God. It doesn't, it doesn't work. I can't give, if I was a judge, I couldn't give you a free pass because you say you believe in God if you, com if you committed a murder. I couldn't do it. Where was the intent of the heart? I couldn't do it. That's not what the movie was like, but I mean, it's, hey, either way, watch the movie, Murder in Cottawa County or whatever. Man in Black, you find the movies he played in, Wikipedia, the movie, uh, it's on, it was on, it's on YouTube. I watched it on YouTube. It's about an hour and a half long, I think it is. Watch the movie, it's worth watching. No cuss words, no nudity or nothing, nothing that anybody would be disgusted about. It's a good movie. I don't know how old the movie it was, but it was worth watching. I'd watch it again, but it'd be six months down the road. <laughs> it ain't going to be tomorrow. Crucify the flesh. Deny yourself, die to self, fight the temptation, and forsake your ways. <laughs> I don't think people realize how darn hard that is. But I know you have to have help from God for all that stuff to happen. It's one of those things that whenever it's time to do it, you got to do it. You can't put it off. It's kind of like if you have bad sins and you need to be delivered from your sins, you take it to God to be delivered and it'll work. But the problem is if you, if you truly have no true intention that you're going to be wanting to turn away, it's not going to work. I know it's not. I know where I've messed up is that God, when God wants somebody to do it, he wants somebody to do it right then and there. He doesn't want somebody to do something tomorrow. <laughs> there is no, I mean, there is a tomorrow, but, oh man. Well, all I know is, I, like I said, I've been wrong in my videos as far as the way I act. But I still, at the end of the day, God made me a watchman. And I guarantee you, God knew how I'd be. The only thing is that there's a right and a wrong. There have been times I've been right in videos the way I've acted, and I've been wrong in videos that I've acted. You can bet on that. So what was the moral of the story? Go out somewhere and talk to God. Yeah. That's what I would do. I wouldn't take everybody's word on everything. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. At all. All right, that's enough. I got to go to bed.